Once you hit Kerrville, you become a curver. I can see you drop your lawyer, you drop whatever you do, and you become a curver. When you come here the first time, you're a curvergen, and you lose your curginity, and it's an amazing place. Come on, let's go check it out. What's down there anyway? The first thing that everybody sees when they come in, it says, welcome home, and we really mean that. It's a kind of a joke that we use Quiet Valley Brown for all of the buildings, but there was a purpose in creating that in that you don't notice the building so much when you come in, and because this is a gift, this, this land is a gift, and so to honor it is to, yeah, we have to put up some fences and some gates and some buildings for things, but we can keep it as natural and unobtrusive as possible. I thank everybody that comes across this place, spreads a little bit of love, and everybody that comes across picks up a little bit, and we just keep adding more to it. Volunteers are absolutely necessary in an event like this. Volunteers do a better job than paid personnel because they're there for fun, for the intimacy of it, for the chance to be close to the artist, for doing something different. <laughs> Being a part of something like this, turn those volunteers into a team that just can't be beat. What I've seen so far is a lot of people having a good time in various states of dress and undress. We're gonna see some people hanging out by the river. We're gonna see some people hanging out at the campgrounds. We're gonna see some people performing, some people doing some awesome interpretive hippie dance. When you wake up in the morning at the festival, it's so hot, you really just gotta get out of your tent and uh, drive about 10 miles down the road to the Medina River. There's about three or four different river crossings, all types of hidden spots on the banks, up and down stream that are just amazing spots to go and relax at. Coming out of the Marine Corps, that was pretty rough. I haven't hit anybody since I've been here, and that's 35 years, so it changed my life considerably. I don't want to crate in on it, but I have like case of cerebral palsy, and I've always had a problem with other people accepting me, and these people accepted me. It continues to astonish me what the songs say from these human beings who are so willing to tell us everything they feel. I don't think I'd be here without. I don't think I'd be alive if I hadn't had, hadn't had this for many years to come to.